Starting today, the Beaver Island Parkway Bridge will be closed for renovations that are expected to last quite a while. News for us, Hope Winter is live in Grand Island this morning, learning about the $8.3 million project and how it's going to impact those who travel. Hope. Abby and Chris behind us, we see that crews are putting up barricades as we speak, closing off that bridge now this morning, which puts roadblocks in the commutes for those who use this bridge every day. The bridge that's been standing on Grand Island for almost 70 years will be getting an upgrade. The bridge will be closed for the project that is expected to start this week, and detours around the bridge will be in place starting today. Governor Kathy Hochul announced that the state will be investing millions to increase safety features features, including increasing the bridge's vertical clearance, the road surface, and making the travel lanes wider. Roughly 13,000 vehicles travel over the bridge every day. Town Supervisor of Grand Island, John Whitney, believes that the ones who will mostly be impacted by the closure in the long run will be the ones visiting the area on occasion. It is a very large percentage of our population that does head south on the uh, 190 from that area. So it's it is a it is a significant impact. It's going to be an inconvenience. I really think that our normal residents that do this commute on a daily basis will figure it out relatively quickly. He says the biggest impact will be on those who are making deliveries or visitors who aren't familiar with the area and those coming to Beaver Island State Park, the beach and marinas. Whitney also says the bridge has been deteriorating for quite some time and he thanks the state for taking prior action before it becomes a bigger problem. Whitney says the bridge will be back in business once the project is completed. The project is expected to last until the end of the year. For now, live in Grand Island, Hope Winter, News 4. Thank you, Hope. Across the nation.